It's a dark chapter in our country's past. We are talking about lynchings, and Florida was one of the worst offenders. Today, there's a new effort to honor local victims of these hate crimes. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow spoke with the people behind the effort and why they say now is the time to have this difficult conversation. But first, I want to warn you, some of the images in this story might be hard to watch. I believe there's a lot of greatness in our country, but we have to talk about the full picture. Between 1882 and 1968, the NAACP says the U.S. had more than 4,000 lynchings. It should shock the conscience, but it shouldn't surprise us. If you know our history, you know that these things happened. According to the Equal Justice Initiative, Florida had 315. It even happened in Hillsborough County. From the end of Reconstruction to about the 1930s, uh, five individuals who were African American were lynched on account of the fact that they were black. There was a man only known as Galloway. Then there was John Crooms, Lewis Jackson, Samuel Arline, Robert Johnson. It's critical that we memorialize history and try to understand where we've been so that we can better understand where we are. Today, there's a new effort to honor those victims with a marker like this in Tampa. Vieira, State Representative Fentress Driscoll, and Stetson Law Professor Tammy Bryant Spratling are behind the mission. They spoke to a curious crowd this morning at Cafe Con Tampa. These victims have never had the opportunity to be recognized. They don't even have the privilege of being in public records because they were taken out of the legal system. To get the marker, leaders are working through the Equal Justice Initiative, which already has memorials for lynching victims in its Montgomery Museum. The racial intolerance that we're seeing in dialogue present day really can trace back to our history and not having truly dealt with that history. So this is a part of opening up conversations so that we can have more healing and understanding. The project is still in its early stages, so we don't know where they'll put the markers, but leaders hope to have something in place this year.